We're standing in Bow Lane in the city of London, a medieval street, still a shopping street, as are all of the little streets off the city's old medieval high street, which is called Cheapside, cheap meaning market. Now, the city had lost its high street years ago as many of the shops moved away. Now, with the opening of one new change, we will be bringing back the city's high street to Cheapside and all of these other little streets around Bow Lane, Bread Street, Milk Street, Honey Lane will all hopefully get their purposes back again and selling the goods that the street names advertise. The city is primarily an office district, a central business district and in fact one of the world's leading financial centres. But a good office centre needs more than simply offices. You need all the supporting facilities like hotels, uh, leisure facilities and above all shopping because shopping is the number one recreation in the 21st century. Now with the building of one new change we've got a huge mixed use development with three floors of retail, four floors of offices and a roof covered with terraces for restaurants and public viewing of St Paul's. So this will be a complete change in the atmosphere of this part of the city. Instead of a workplace it becomes a place for working. Retailers in the City of London need to have seven day a week trading. It's all very well earning a lot of money over a very short period of, of five lunch times a week, which is what the office market and the people who work in the offices generate. But if you're going to bring in major stores and the major brands, they want more re uh, revenue than that in order to afford the premises and the advertising and all the other costs that go with it. To do that, they have to be able to trade at weekends. Now, traditionally, the city is closed down at weekends because there are no workers here. But we have empty public transport at the weekend. We have free parking and lots of attractions for visitors to see, St Paul's Cathedral and the churches and the history of the city. So it's an ideal place to come for leisure shopping at the weekends. So these new shops will be open seven days a week and therefore they'll be here during the week for the office workers. And would, would the programme work without it being open seven days a week? No, it's got to be a seven day a week shopping centre. It's got to be a destination shopping centre, not simply the local shops that people nip into. We have lots of people who have reasonable amounts of money in their pocket who frequently only get to spend it when they're passing through Heathrow Airport. It's the only time when their money and shops are in close proximity for long enough to get rid of it. Now, if we can bring the shopping nearer to where they are, they've got the income, we provide the retail, should be the magic solution. How did you uh, strike a balance between what the city workers want Monday to Friday and what tourists and local residents you know, from the not just the city of London but the uh, other surrounding boroughs. How did you strike the balance between those two different shopping cultures? Uh, I don't think there really is. Um, shopping is aspirational. Um, people like to look at things even if they're not going to buy them. Uh, people from all parts of London head off down to Sloane Square and the King's Road. It won't be any different in the city of London. That's the market we're looking for. It's not a place to come to do your weekly shop. It's a place to come to have fun while looking at things you might buy. What is making um, the City of London so attractive to retailers at the moment? What is the big draw for um, the big retail companies? I think it's because the stability of the consumer base in the city is greater than in many parts. Obviously the West End is strong, they have international tourism as well as the um, people who work in the West End to support the, the retail pr offer. In the City of London there is a good employment base of relatively well paid people which is, after all, what retailers are looking for. So the customers are here, all we need are the shops. And what about the return of bankers' bonuses? Is that something that the retailers Well, I mean, I, 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 as, as, a, as a poor um, public sector employee, far be it for me to comment on bankers' bonuses. All I'm saying is, if they do have them, it'd be rather nice if they spent them in the city rather than at Heathrow. I mean, with, with the uh, bankers' bonuses, though, it's, it's a good attraction for the city that you know people here can earn good salaries and then there'll be facilities here for them to spend their money on. As I say, it must have occurred to the retailers that the people working in the finance industry and the other uh, occupations that occupy the City of London are relatively well paid and therefore it's not a bad place to have your shop. And what are the uh, challenges posed to try and attract weekend shoppers? I think at weekends the issue is accessibility um, and having other things to do. And uh, as I've said, the public transport is available, the buses and the tubes are empty that serve the city at the weekend. You can drive into the city and park without having to pay at the weekend if you want, if you must bring your car. Uh, and of course there are so many other things to see and do while you're in the Square Mile. It's a historic centre, um, it has the Barbican Arts and Cultural Centre very close to Cheapside. So it isn't just a case of going somewhere to do the shopping and then having to go off somewhere else for your uh, other activities.